97% of mobile users are already using AI-powered voice assistants. More than 4 billion devices already work on AI-powered voice assistants. 40% of people use the voice search function at least once a day. As computer programs get more sophisticated, it's predicted that artificial intelligence, AI, will be able to help us with more facets of our daily life. Does that include our productivity? Hi, I'm Dave Edwards. David Allen, the author of GTD, Getting Things Done, has been thinking about artificial intelligence and other digital systems. Well, what AI is gonna do, it's already doing it, is giving you decision support. If you went to uh, chat GTD right now and said, what should I do for mom's birthday? It's going to give you a lot of ideas. And if you look at all those ideas, you say, oh, well, that's kind of cool. But it's not going to tell you what to buy for mom's birthday. It's going to give you, here's the things you might want to think about. You know, what's your favorite color? Where did you go? Well, you know, what's her, what have you bought before or whatever? And so I don't know. You'll see whatever you see if you do that. And so that's cool. That's kind of fun. Just poke at something out there digitally that's going to give you a lot of different ways to look at something. You can't fault that. That's what a lot of people are using it for. Even right now, it's going to get even better You know, at how to write an article for you. <laughs> I read somewhere that somebody in about 10 seconds downloaded about a 300-page document on uh, quantum physics. <laughs> you know, it's like, okay, well, cool. Yeah, now what? <laughs> but you need, you, you know, if, if you know what you're doing, it's a great time to be alive. If you don't, you're toast. Although yeah, I still say, you know, I'm, I'm a digital guy and actually all of my systems are pretty digital, but, but yet sometimes I find like here at the desk, the best thing I have are little note cards. And, and I can't tell you the number of times I get an idea, I quick scribble a note. Whereas if I was going to go to my screen and open up something, that would be 20 seconds wasted or I can get this and shove it into my inbox and, and I'm good to go. Me too. Yeah. Sim simple is sometimes, sometimes the best, you know, I, well, what's going to happen is see, especially if you have more of those, one of those attention kind of issues, ADD or ADHD, you know, two clicks, you're dead. You won't do it. You know, it needs to be instant right there, right at the moment. And the muse is fickle. You know, the good idea shows up. And if you don't capture it, then somebody else will get it later on and you will have forgotten that you forgot, right? You have lost it. So ubiquitous capturing is something, again, that I have that I built 40 years ago. Yeah, no, I think that's, to me, I think that's the key element of everything that you've taught or certainly taught me is uh, just that quick, make a, uh, just to make a quick note. I just think that's more important than a weekly review or anything else. But uh, yeah, and, and, and frankly, you don't know, see, when I have that thought, I think it's a great thought because I had the thought, <laughs> but then 10 minutes later or 10 hours later, I go too much wine, David. Oh, that was stupid. Or I can't even read what I wrote, you know, <laughs> that's my problem. <laughs> Handwriting I've had, 101. I've, I've had, to, I've had to learn to write more legibly, you know, when I make these notes and I already got a little page full here. Yeah, you know, yep. of these, and I had to write them. Okay, Ed in September. Okay, Doe dollars, uh, worst and best case, and pictures with me and Ed. Okay, you can so read them. I, didn't even, I, 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 yeah, I can, I can now read these because I learned that even as these were late night thoughts. I don't remember. I think now for late for last night, and so. I don't know whether any of these are good ideas or not, but I have them as options, which I never would have done otherwise. So again, this gets torn off, thrown into my entry, just like you do. Yep. And then this will get in. So I, what can I do to throw this piece of paper away? Well, I'm going to have to go through, okay, what's that? Is that something I'm actually going to do or do something? You know, do I have to yeah. just go through, you know, come on, I'll be 78 in a few months and I still have to do all this stuff. You know, I, I didn't graduate out of doing GTD still the essence of how I, you know, manage my life. Yep. I don't know. I don't uh, know if that's useful speaking, to, to anybody listening to this, but. Speaking about handwriting, I found, I, I have this note on my desk and I think it says, send email to 
Yeah, I think it says all. I don't think it's ever. I don't think that's it. I, I, maybe and maybe I, I don't know. Oh, yeah, yeah. Me I'm gonna too. process I know, I this. Know, yeah. <laughs> me too. Sometimes I have to go up to Catherine in my life, and I go, Catherine, I think I wrote this. Do you have any idea what do you think I wrote here? <laughs> <laughs> or I write somebody's name. I said, Who is that? And she goes, Oh, that's probably. I was like, Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. David Allen is the author of GTD, Getting Things Done. I get to talk with him periodically. If you have questions for David, post them below or email them to me at daveedwards at outlook.com. Perhaps I'll sneak them in in a future session with David.